Okay. But how do you like each other? Um, so, I'm sorry, I missed the panel because I was somewhere else. So, okay. what can we expect from you guys, characters coming up in season two? Do you want to start? Uh, do you want to start in Elf Okay, cool. Um, so, season two kind of focuses on um, the idea of these characters trying to put some of the supernatural aspects of Blaster behind them and create sort of this one of life. And so, we see him stepping into sort of a light of being a normal person. He's got a excuse me, a regular job has continued forward with a real world relationship with Willa. And you see that his characters as well as Charlie sort of taking a step forward in their lives, but unfortunately with them you see that this realm and this other existence starting to bleed into their lives again. So you see that danger aspect of sort of come back and stronger than ever. Consequences of season one. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and consequences of actions. into a coma and were in the realm and then came out, what super abilities would you guys want to have? Fly. I want to fly. Oh. <laughs> you can <laughs> with a lot of like twists and a lot of like I did not expect that to happen so is there um, an element of like confusion going along where you're blindsided by a reveal that happens or is it more like I totally saw that oh we whenever we get the scripts <laughs> whoa what are we doing now like it's it's the, the writers constantly come up with amazing twists and content and stuff that we had never seen coming or they take something that you think is coming and twist it into this totally interesting situation. So for us, and at least I can vouch for myself this season, every script that came in, I couldn't believe how it would get better. And for some reason, they were able to keep the ante out the entire time. We hope to not make a show where people are like, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, and I think our. There's always going to be people out there. There are smart people out there, but we, we cater to a, a knowledgeable, smart audience, too. It's not a sort of a step by step show. I think I'm going to do like people guessing on what the real sort of point is and direction the show's going to take. Do you find that the twists make it hard for you to sort of like develop your character a lot more? Do you do you have like your own theories about your characters that the script's kind of like, well, now that doesn't work? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I think it, it, it can. I think it's a combination of creating sort of your persona, what you think your character is, mixed with how the characters can describe to you by creators and you know, executive people on that level, and also what the writers create. It, it's sort of fun meshing all of those levels into yeah. what a complex character is. And, and I think what's neat about our show is that the amount of depth each character has. They, they aren't just the happy character, the sad character, the angry character. Everyone has so much uh, levels of a real human being, so it's fun to be able to combine what you think, what the writers think, what the show tone is, into creating what you see all together. One last question. Season one came out all at once so everybody could binge watch. So what is the show that you guys been like to binge watch? Walking Dead. I like Pretty Dreadful for a long time. Uh, Rick and Morty, Paul's Burger. Uh, oh, do you want to you can, wait, wait, anytime. I just did Walking Dead as well. I'm not caught up. Uh, Old Land. I just love Old Land. <laughs> I did um, Master of None recently. Um, and I also did Oh gosh, what's what's the Kristen Bell's show where she's made for? The Good Place. Good Place, and I just finished that. We also have to Shameless, of course. And 30 Rock. And The Office, I'll always go back and binge. Oh yeah, I'll always go back and binge. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.